gracias. Thank you very much. Uh, first of all, that uh, thank you very much to uh, yeah, the speakers today for, for being with us. Thank you very much for coming from Asia to this particular session at this uh, interesting Congress organized by IAWA. Thank you to the audience today. And thank you to IAWA, Alejandro, uh, uh, David. It's, uh, we collaborate in many other fields, but this is particular, uh, particularly important for us, and we really uh, appreciate and uh, to give added value to the, uh, to the summit uh, these days. Um, as there is some, uh, I didn't know, but there is an artificial intelligence translation, so uh, I will talk, and it's also a recommendation for the guests that we, we have here from Asia, uh, to talk, uh, I will talk slow, I will talk clear, so that the, the translation can go uh, okay. Um, I will talk just for 10 minutes because I think the, the relevant persons today are the speakers coming from Asia, but I think that it's important to, to share that maybe I'm not in the 10 minutes I'm, I'd like to talk here today, I'm not, I'm not going to share nothing new, or maybe there are something new for the, for the audience, but uh, take into account that what I want to share is the philosophy of a trade and investment promotion agency, particularly ethex, your agency for going abroad from the public sector to, to have support from the public sector. So it's important for you to know our philosophy, how we are uh, accompanying the, the, the sector abroad. And also I, I, will, I will give some messages to our colleagues from, uh, from Asia. So that's the, the idea of my 10 minutes uh, uh, words uh, today. I would like to, to start by, by explaining this uh, particular action, okay? This is uh, uh, what we call at Ethex the reverse mission, okay? We, we, we bring to Spain a particular interesting expert and, 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 and professionals on the water sector to uh, share with the Spanish sector the opportunities for collaboration in some particular countries, some particular projects. Um, I could say that we chose uh, Asia for this uh, session because uh, I was living in Singapore for the last three, four years, or because my wife is from Indonesia, but uh, that's not true, okay? We have a strategy on the, on the water sector, and we decided for this year to bring four reverse missions to a, a inward mission to Spain in four particular events. This is, uh, if not the most important, one of the most important ones, and we decided to bring a session on Asia with some uh, representatives of public agencies and the governments of some uh, Asian uh, governments, and, and, the, and the, in this case, the Asian Development Bank. But we also brought a new world mission for the WEX Global uh, uh, Summit in, uh, in the first semester of 2023. That, that session was focused on the multilateral entities, not only the Asian Development Bank, but also in the World Bank, in the Inter-American Development Bank, and uh, so on, and the clients of those entities. So that was the, the content of the, of the mission we, we wrote in the first semester. We also collaborate with the National uh, Annual Congress of AEDIR, one of the Spanish Association on Water, and for that uh, event that was just before the summer, we brought representatives of the Latin American countries uh, to the event in Granada. And uh, before the end of the year, we will collaborate as well with the International, in, International Desalination Association for an event in Sevilla, in which what we want to, uh, we want to add value through uh, uh, taking there representatives of the uh, MENA countries, Maghreb and North of Africa, together with some multilateral entities. That multilateral entities, as you see, are very, very important, very relevant in our strategy for uh, connecting foreign counterparts and Spanish counterparts in the water sector. So, um, the water is, a, 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 and particularly digitalization on the sector, is a priority uh, uh, for ethex. Ah, sorry, it's there. Uh, and, 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 and it should be a priority because we, 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 this is our philosophy, okay? We, uh, um, we consider that water is a challenge uh, uh, at international level, and as we work on internationalization, we must be there. And we also think that uh, it's important that our experts from Asia, they know, but the problems on water that we have in the, in the, in the West are the same that are in the East of the, of the globe. And uh, because we also suffer from droughts, from uh, water shortage, with uh, climate change uh, negative effects, with the increase of urban uh, population, with unbalanced seasonal waterfalls, also in Spain, 
And uh, we also have a, a, a very, uh, a, we have to, to analyze the link between the water and the energy intensity activities around the water sector. So similar challenges, similar situations, similar problems in Asia and also in Europe, in particular in Spain. We also think that uh, water is a, a, a resource that can be improved with management with emerging technologies and innovation, applying digital transformation with results in a better management of supply and demand of water, less energy use in production processes, and of course, reduction of negative effects on climate change. We think that there are so exponential number of, of data not only in, in quantity, but also uh, in quality, that uh, uh, companies, countries, public companies, we will need focus and get information from that, uh, from that data. Uh, I saw that the lemma of the, of the, of the summit is uh, um, data-centric, so focus on data. I will also say that uh, uh, we can also uh, explain the, the, the challenge as consumer-centric, consumer so focus on consumers, because data is very, very linked with consumers, both industrial and both uh, particular citizens that consume water at, at, at home. So this is the, 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 the initial ideas I want to, to share about uh, our uh, um, philosophy. And of course, this is not new for us, but uh, it was uh, new uh, for us like five, six years ago before we went into the digitalization of water as a sector to be promoted internationally from the Spanish Trade and Investment Promotion Agency. Uh, we understood that we can have advanced measure, remote data collection through IoT and connectivity and remote reading, monitoring. We can also make data analysis for measuring, analyzing, deciding through big data, through artificial intelligence, machine learning, data management platforms. And we also have better asset management by integrating all data to make decisions through technology, building information models, SCADAs, digital twins, virtual reality, macro uh, measurement. As I said, this is not new for you. This is not also new for you, for, for you my, 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 my guest, our guest uh, today. But it was new five years ago for Ethex, and now it's a reality in the, in, the, uh, in, the, in the institution, in the entity. And it's also uh, it's not new even for Ethex that uh, we consider digital transformation a business opportunity okay, for uh, companies and for collaboration between uh, entities from uh, abroad and, and, and from Spain. Uh, so we are becoming a stakeholders in the, in the sector, particularly in the internationalization, and we see that there is a significant market for the provision of these data-centric products and services in Spain and internationally. And this is a message for, uh, for uh, our guests today. And I just want to, to, to share very, very briefly how some Spanish cities are developing, are developing projects on the digitization of water. So Madrid, for example, the city of Madrid, through the plan uh, Smart Water, so the, the Smart Water Plan, there is a, a four years plan for implementation of full tele-reading, remote reading in all the water structure in the city. In Barcelona, there are many advances in the sensoring of water installation with the deployment of the smart water meters that now they are in more than 70% of the total infrastructure of the city of Barcelona, always talking about water applying Internet of Things, Big Data, and Artificial Intelligence. Valencia, another uh, uh, remarkable city in terms of water in Spain, they have a system that detects leaks using fiber optics after monitoring alternative and imbalances in water flows in the net in Valencia. And Sevilla, they have also, uh, in Sevilla, there is also a very interesting uh, project based on uh, digitalization, big data, artificial intelligence, that allow the core management of the integral water cycle, cycle in Sevilla, a core management by not only the administration, not only by the companies, and also by consumers, both particular ones of, or industrial ones. So there is a co-management uh, project system, thanks to the digitalization that is applied in the water uh, system in, uh, in Sevilla. It's not only about Spain, about the Spanish city. We can talk about uh, interesting uh, and relevant projects abroad developed by Spanish companies. And I just want to, to share with our guests uh, three or four particular projects. There is a Spanish company, Spanish solution that, are, that is helping the city of Houston in the United States to optimize their resources allocated to predictive 
cleaning of the sewer network and reduce overflows caused by grease and white blockage by over 70%. And they are doing that, this Spanish company, through a digital twin. And it's good to remind that, uh, uh, that the, 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 the Houston uh, sewer is the largest network in the United States with more than 9,000 kilometers of sewer mains and 385 pump-up stations. Second project I want to, to share very briefly is that the Spanish company is uh, doing all the um, uh, digital meter reading of the water sector in the, uh, uh, of the of the water system of the Philippines' largest water company. It is a project that started 10 years ago and it's still working. There is also a Spanish company that is implementing a digital tool in Toronto water company. So there is also collaboration with countries as Canada. And as we have here today the Asian Development Bank, it's also good always to remember how a Spanish company on the engineering sector, on the consultancy sector, they are collaborating more and more with not only the Inter-American Development Bank and the World Bank, also with the clients of these financial multilateral institutions to analyze, to uh, um, have uh, viability of factability plans, or to analyze the digitalization of the uh, sectors, the water sector, in some particular Latin American country. So there are projects already on the table, and we are working together, I will explain later, with the Ministry of Economics of Spain in uh, financing and having more Spanish companies collaborating with the multilateral entities in Latin America and the countries uh, uh, in, the, in the American country, in the American continent. So, uh, we use for uh, analyzing because we have uh, limited uh, uh, resources as, as any company, as any entity, we, uh, we use the uh, Bluefield research to analyze how, uh, which markets can be a priority for us. And more or less they are in this, uh, in this table. So we use the level of digital maturity to understand if there are real opportunities for Spanish companies to collaborate with local companies in some particular countries. And we also analyze the market structure. Is it is fragmented, is it is distributed, is it is consolidated to analyze also the possibilities for collaboration with Spanish companies. We see that Asian countries even if they are from uh, Eastern Asia or, 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 or if we are talking about Southeast Asia, we consider that there is an interesting opportunity for collaboration for, uh, with, us, with Spanish companies as the level of digital maturity is very high in some of the countries and is increasing. There are very positive surprises in some Asian countries on how they are developing digitalization on water and the market structure is consolidated. So it's easy to find uh, synergies and, and, and other companies that can, uh, to which we can collaborate together from the Spanish, uh, from the Spanish companies. Um, as I said uh, before, um, we also look for collaboration with uh, larger economies that are supposed to lead the digital transformation in the water sector, but also with other countries that are in the, not in the first step of digitalization because they are going more accelerated than in, 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 in other traditional sectors. So we consider digitalization as a big opportunity in many kinds of different countries, not only in Asia, but also in Africa, Latin America, as I was explaining when I was sharing the strategy uh, with you. And just uh, one minute to talk about the collaboration we have multi with multilateral financial institutions. And this is a message for the Spanish companies here today. Um, you know that the Spanish Ministry of Economy, they finance uh, they give um, Spanish public money to multilateral entities to finance projects in uh, the countries that are clients of the multilateral entities. Water sector is a priority, uh, a priority sector not only for ICES but also for the Ministry of Economy when they, when they decide which countries for which projects they want to finance through the uh, national Spanish budget. There is a collaboration that, uh, it, uh, the truth, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say the truth, we, we didn't collaborate on this since a long time ago. It's just one year ago that we started to collaborate with the Ministry of Economy to try to, uh, um, to search for the collaboration of Spanish companies in the projects that the uh, Ministry of Economy is financing through the multilateral entities in some particular countries. Of course, it's untied financial uh, uh, tools, we have it very clear, but it's also the interest of the multilateral entities that the Spanish companies that work very well in the, in the water sector are more involved in the projects that are financed by these multilateral entities. So we are having a working group with some uh, particular members of the water 
water uh, Spanish sector in which we exchange the information we have about some particular funds that we are using in the multilateral entities for financing water projects. And the Spanish companies are proposing as the sector in which they can collaborate, collaborate better with local companies, with local partners in those particular countries that are financed by the multilateral entities. So it's something that happy to talk more, not only myself, but also my team, uh, Virginia Yaraceli, uh, to talk about this working group that we have with the Ministry of Economy and some members of the Spanish water uh, sector, together also with the Dirección General uh, del Agua. And uh, just finishing my, my, my presentation, to give the floor for the uh, uh, um, um, guests that we have uh, from Asia today. Just let me also uh, serve uh, in, in, in one minute. Yeah, the, this is not the, I think, the, the forum for explaining the different tools that ITEX have. Uh, you, 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 you have together with you this kind of uh, reverse uh, in our mission that we are organizing with this particular guest from, uh, from Asia. But we have many other tools that they are on the table for being used by the Spanish company. Most of you, you know the different tools, but happy to, uh, to, 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 uh, to comment about that later on in the, uh, in the networking coffee after this session and the, and the one we have after that uh, uh, with Latin American countries, I and the World Bank. So the, that's why we have an, a session in Asia. It's not because my stay in Singapore, it's not because my wife is from Indonesia, it's because Asia is in the center of the table. Okay? We have a strategy with different countries, with different continents on the water sector, and this was the summit in which we considered to bring the expert, the key uh, expert on water from Korea, from Taiwan, from Indonesia, and from the Asian Development Bank. 